time to sing. Don't eat chickens, don't eat eggs, don't eat anyone who has wings, fins, or legs. Don't eat cows or cats or dogs or pigs. Eat lentils, beans, broccoli, potatoes, carrots, and figs. We're about to have fun. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any videos in the future. Do you see the subscribe button? Look down below. You see it? Make sure you press the notification bell too. All right, perfect. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do. Woo hoo! Eating eggs is so last century, nobody needs to, so here's what you do. Mash tofu, green onions, and celery in a pan. Add black salt, turmeric, and spices, yes you can. Mix in some vegan mayo, mix in some vegan mayo. Now mix in a salty pickle. Yes, yeah, the way to go, oh, woo! Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do, woo Learn how to make it, cause saving animals will make them happy and will make you happy too. The egg industry's just a cycle of misery, let's make the animal holocaust history. The egg industry's just a cycle of misery, let's make the animal holocaust history. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do, woo Learn how to make it, cause saving animals will make them happy and will make you happy too. Hello students and welcome back to class. Today we're going to be looking at Simnit Nutrition because he is doing a presentation about how to make tofu scramble, the best ever vegan egg salad. Doesn't it look good? But before we begin, I want to show you this. I want to thank you guys. Thank you to all the kind people who have become vegan. That's what the animals are telling us. Look how shiny that is it's because of the green screen. This is decorated with green on the edges. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for being kind to animals and let's get a look at what Simnet Nutrition is telling us today. He is an amazing uh, guy who does uh, presentations all the way from Vancouver, British Columbia. So he's a fellow Canadian and he's vegan for the animals. And he's also vegan because he knows it's super good for his health. You should watch his videos. If you have a chance, go and subscribe to him because he also has other videos where he is showing himself working out and he has a really nice girlfriend who films him sometimes and sometimes there's a cat in the videos. But anyway, let's have a look at this one. Welcome back to my kitchen for another video. I'm Derek, Cement Nutrition, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make the most amazing tofu egg salad oh, so you've ever had. <laughs> you actually don't even have to cook this. It doesn't require any cooking at all. Some of the rest cool. of the stuff does, which I'll also show you how I make. But uh, the tofu egg salad, no cooking. So simple. And I don't know about you guys, but it reminds me of my childhood. This is definitely a staple. When I was younger, my mom would always make it. My aunt had like the world famous egg salad recipe. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have similar stories to this. So this is like a really nice, comforting, warm dish. Brings me back to my childhood. But nice. I know a lot of us aren't eating eggs anymore. It's 2021. We've realized we don't have to eat those. There's That's other options. So here we go. I'm gonna show you guys. That's how I right. Made. That's right. Thank you, Derek, for reminding people that we don't eat eggs anymore. Now he made this video in 2021, and right now it's 2022. But whatever, it is always the right time to stop hurting animals. So thank you for bringing that up. You guys, nobody needs to eat eggs. You know what happens in the egg industry, right? The egg industry is full of misery. It's a cycle of misery. Nobody needs to eat eggs anymore. Go and research egg-truth.com to learn the truth about why you shouldn't be eating eggs or chickens. Oh yeah, and I will be putting the full recipe in the description box down below for you guys because I love you, I care about you, I want to make your life easier, and I know you guys aren't sitting there with a pen and paper taking notes. <laughs> At least I wouldn't be, I don't know. Well, I so am, here are but... all the ingredients that you're going to need in order to make this, but we will go over them as we add them, so let's just jump right into it. Oh, nice. First is the tofu. I like to use a combination of soft and medium tofu because I find it just gives the best texture for this dish. If you want, you could definitely throw in some firm tofu, it would change it up a bit, but I'm sure it would be great as well. Well, just play around and find the texture that you like. So I'm using about a half a block of each. So half a block of medium, half a block of soft tofu. Okay. So go ahead and add those to a good sized mixing bowl. This is where we're going to be adding all of the ingredients and mixing it up. Nice. So I'm usually more of a firm or extra firm tofu kind of guy. It just works better for what I like Me to too. cook with it. I like the texture better. Uh, and it's also more concentrated in protein. I don't know if you yes. guys knew that, but kind of an interesting fact about tofu. The firmer it is, the more protein it has. That's right. Uh, but this is like the only- Because it has more water content. <coughs> Excuse me. 
more water in the one that is more liquidy. So yeah, I also also get the firm one almost all the time. So this is kind of neat. I guess the recipe is going to be more creamy because he's using more of the watery one. You know how when you have scrambled eggs, they have a little bit of that sort of gooey consistency, but it makes it good. Yeah. Only dish that I use soft and medium tofu for, and I'm always just like left with half a package of soft and medium tofu. I guess I could make this again, but if you guys have any suggestions, put them in the comments down below because I would love to hear what else I could use this stuff for. Just make double. Invite someone over. Like me. It looks so good. Next, add one tablespoon of vegan mayonnaise. So here I'm using veganaise. So I suppose you could make this without this, but it's not going to be as good. I've tried. It's just like not as good. But again, uh, this is the only dish that I use this for. However, it does last like a long time in the fridge. Just stick it in the back. And when I think about making this, just pull it out. <laughs> it's always there for me. Next, you want to chop up a stalk of celery. And you want to chop it up nice and fine. We're not making like a garden salad here and like that. Good. We're making an egg salad. So you want it to be nice and dainty and delicate. Then some dill pickle. I think he has a really good presentation so far. He has a lot of close-ups of what he's doing. The pacing is good. He has a great attitude. What about you guys? Do you like this video? Write in the comments below. What do you think about this? Do you think that you'd like to try to make this? So far, it doesn't look so hard, right? Let me know. Again, chop it up nice and small. Feel free to add more if you want, but uh, I think this is just a perfect amount. Oh, that looks so good. It's gonna be good. Mm. Chop up some green onion. So obviously you could use chives or another type of onion for this. So this isn't totally necessary. Of course, you could just use regular salt. You're not gonna get that sort of eggy taste, but uh, this is kind of a nice thing to have in the cupboard. So if you guys can find it, Go ahead and get yourself some. It lasts for a long time. Uh, and again, this is like the only thing I use this for. Um, but it's like great to have on hand. Can you guys read what's on the label? Because he hasn't actually told us what kind of salt it is. I think he means black salt. It's not black, but it does taste like it has an eggy flavor to it. I think that's what he means. And, and uh, if you guys can't find it, look in like ethnic grocery stores. So uh, they use it a lot in like Indian cooking. I find it in the international foods aisle at Superstore here in Canada. So uh, yeah, that might help you on your hunt. Then a half a teaspoon of turmeric. So this is gonna be mainly for color. Uh, we're not exactly trying to <laughs> impart the... Tur oh, turmeric is so good. It's an anti-inflammatory. And yeah, you just use a little bit of it because it gives you that slightly yellow color to things. Um, but you can use a lot of it if you love the flavor. Some people don't like the flavor, they find it overpowering, but I actually take some turmeric mixed in with pepper um, on a regular basis. You just mix it up with water and you just down it like a shot because it's really good as an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. Turmeric flavor into this dish, but I find a half a teaspoon is just enough to give it some good color, but not too much of that turmeric flavor. Feel free to add more if you want. Turmeric is an extremely healthful herb or spice or root, whatever you want to call it. It uh, got so many different benefits. I mean, we know that it's a powerful antioxidant, helps with inflammation, uh, can help with pain. It's great for people with arthritis. It can help with certain degenerative like brain diseases. Uh, there's so many reasons why we should be cons consistently <laughs> consuming turmeric. So yeah, get it in you. However, we know that you can't get the most out of turmeric unless you have it with its best friend, black pepper. So add a pinch of black pepper to this, and we know that they work synergistically in order to help absorb the curcumin that's in the turmeric, which is the active ingredient doing all those amazing things. So that's it, it's that easy. So now all you wanna do is just mix it up. Oh, it looks wow, good. It's so crazy how much it actually like looks like egg salad, it's pretty wild. Isn't that cool? And you don't have to cook anything. How easy is that, guys? There's no excuse for animal abuse. All the recipes are out there. Everything that you used to eat as a non-vegan, as a carnist, you can make the vegan versions of. There's no excuse for animal abuse. Not religion, not an eating disorder, not peer pressure, not your monetary status. Don't eat animals, don't buy their bodies, don't steal their milk, their blood, or their honey. Don't wear their fur or their feathers. It is only by the grace of God that you are not in their skin. Each time you see a public display of meat, dairy, stolen eggs, or fur in an ad, give it the middle finger. Each time you see an animal suffering, run to help as if you were the victim. Each time it's time to eat, ask for and choose the vegan option. Don't be a bully to vegan children or anyone who has compassion for the animals. Heaven awaits those who do their part with a compassionate heart. 
every vegan started out like you thinking they could never be vegan. It was a crazy thing to do and yet here they are, 100% vegan, speaking out on behalf of the victims all over the world. Never think that you can't be an ethical animal rights activist because not only can you do it, but it's also your moral duty and your destiny. Be brave, be better, be vegan, be loved, and start now. So it's ready to go right now. You can have it just as is. Um, you could always heat it up if you wanted to, but I don't think that's traditionally how egg salads are had. I think usually they are chilled. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge for about, you know, 10, 20, 30 minutes, something like that, and then make some of those other things you saw on the plate, make this a truly epic breakfast. Oh, I'll show you guys how I make those good. as well. I'm gonna get this in the fridge first. Mm. I love pickles. Oh my God. Stop eating in front of us. <laughs> It looks too good. You no, know, pickles are one of these like luxury items that my mom and dad always had in the fridge at home. But like once you move out of your house, it's like pickles are just not one of those luxuries that you have all the time. So I love when I have them. I'm gonna keep drinking my tea. Gosh, they're good. So if I have the time on the weekend and I'm making a big breakfast like this, I love to saute some tomatoes to have with it. So first, preheat a frying pan on about medium high heat. Then slice the tomatoes in half. Add some garlic. I like to add fresh garlic to this. Just big chunks, doesn't matter. This is a pretty rustic dish. Add some fresh basil, or basil. I don't even know how I'm supposed to say it. <laughs> and some oregano as well. I just find him so charming. Don't you guys find him charming? He just looks like he could be like your brother. He's just like a nice guy. You'd love to have him as a neighbor kind of thing. Then you just want to place the halved tomatoes, skin side down in the frying pan. Add the herbs, add the garlic, add a splash of water or some olive oil or something if you want just to get it going and then fire a lid on it. We're going to cook it like this for about 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, you want to remove the cover. Then you want to cook them without the lid on for another 10 minutes or so. You can even cook them longer if you want. They're only going to get tastier. So while those tomatoes are cooking, I'm going to cook up some kale. So you guys know I like to try and have some greens with each of my meals. He uses kale a lot, which is really impressive because to be honest, I never really used to like kale that much. But the way that he makes it, he always makes it look so good and appealing. If it works, and kale is definitely one of my favorites. However, just having it like this is a little bit hard for me. I just find it like a little bit tough and difficult to chew. So uh, I like to wilt it down. So that's what I'm gonna do, just saute this. I'm sure you guys already know how to do this, especially if you watch this channel for a while, but if you don't, well, welcome to the channel and here's how I'm gonna saute some kale. So first you just wanna rip off the stems and I like to just grab the stem and rip the leaves off like this. I find it works so well, Perfect. it's kind of fun to do too. Next, just chop it up a little bit, fire it into the frying pan. And then all it really needs is just some pepper, a dash of garlic powder, and onion powder. You guys know the twin pillars. Get it. <laughs> he calls them the twin pillars because he puts garlic and he puts onions on like almost everything. Just... That's Derek. He's great. Get it in there. And I think that's all it really needs. It cooks up really nicely like this. Delicious, wilts down, nice and tender. All right, so once the kale's cooked enough for your liking, the tomatoes are all done pretty much ready to go. So I'm just actually making some toast right now. Uh, just using some of this organic sprouted whole grain toast. If you're still eating white bread, <laughs> get with the program. <laughs> get on some of that whole wheat. Sprouted is even better. Yeah. All right, so just grab this out of the fridge, give it another quick mix. Oh yeah. Yo, if this doesn't become like a staple for you, I, I don't even know anymore. And then next, we're just gonna plate it up, or bowl it up, I guess. This is more of a bowl than a plate. We have these like super shallow, nice wide bowls, and I absolutely love them. Like, I don't know why I don't love using plates. I just find like I'm always like chasing the food around on it, and it's like falling off the side. So I like to have a little bit of a lip. He, he, what did he just write? Let me just go back. I was trying to fix the camera there. I noticed that his head was a bit cut off. Okay. For you, I, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> 
And then next, we're just gonna plate it up, or bowl it up, I guess. This is more of a bowl than a plate. We have these like super shallow, nice wide bowls, and I absolutely love them. Like, I don't know why I don't love using plates. I just find like I'm always like chasing the food around on it. I totally agree. I don't like plates either. That looks amazing. And it's like falling off the side. So I like to have a little bit of a lip. These bowls are perfect. So. Yes, me too. Wow, you have no idea how good these two Oh wait, I was supposed to look at what's written on the bottom of the screen. Okay, what does it say there? Um, thrift stores are great places to buy nice big bowls. Oh yeah, true. I, I do videos about secondhand stores all the time. Absolutely. Chasing the food around on it and it's like falling off the side. So I like to have a little bit of a lip. These bowls are perfect, so. Wow, you have no idea how good these tomatoes smell mm. when they're cooking. It's like absolutely insane. Crystal came running into the room. She's like, what are you cooking? Can I have some? Like, not until my video's done. Get out of here. Crystal's his girlfriend. And um, they're so cute together. And don't you just don't you just love this guy? I mean, tell me in the comments, honestly. If this guy was in your family, wouldn't you want to be vegan just to be like as healthy as he is? He just makes it look so much fun. Derek, I just love your presentations. You're so upbeat. You're, you're great with the details. It's, it's really fun to watch your channel. <laughs> hmm. He's trying All to right, we got the toast on there. It's a good start. <laughs> now he's got the plate with the lip on it, and now the toast won't stay in the right spot, though. <laughs> I'm always so lost when it comes to plating food. I'm just like, oh man, I hope this looks good. No, you're Never good really at it. Until it's done. He, he calls it plating food. That means to put the food on the plate and make it look pretty. So, but he's so good at it. Ow. <laughs> Ooh, hot food is hot. Just in case you guys did not know that. <laughs> look at that. Look how much kale he has on there. Hmm. You guys, don't forget to eat kale. It's a cruciferous vegetable. It's of a specific class, like broccoli and cauliflower, that you must eat more of on a regular basis, like every day. It's going to reduce your chances of getting cancer. I'm so excited for these. I love green onions, so I'm just chopping a little bit more to go on top of the egg salad or the tofu egg salad. Come on, who wouldn't want that? All right, so I'm gonna taste everything, see how it is. I'm so excited for this, I'm actually so hungry. Ah, you know what? I don't know if you guys have forks that are like your favorites and not favorites, but I don't like long forks. I always feel like it's gonna like stab me in the back of the throat. <laughs> this is more what I'm talking about. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but I'm pretty particular about my forks. So I guess I'll try Thank the you. tofu egg salad. I'm gonna have it on some toast. I don't even need a fork for this. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Plants have protein, they really, really do. Being vegan is healthy, you know it's true. Plants have protein, they really, really do. So why the fuck aren't you vegan yet? No more excuses for you. So this is absolutely incredible. This is probably one of my absolute favorite ways to have tofu. And there's a lot, and I really like them all. But man, this is so so good all right i'm gonna try some of the tomato here oh yeah those tomatoes are good taste italian <laughs> tastes like tomato sauce dang mm. so good he always looks so enthusiastic about the food that he makes every single video he has the same reaction he's eating he kind of steps back a bit he goes mm, mm, mm. then he just keeps digging in and you just feel like you are there want to just jump into the screen and just eat with him can't forget about the greens try the kale look at him shoveling it all in what a champ yay mm -hmm. Love. After the rest of that stuff, it's like, all right, but it's about as good as kale's gonna get. The kale's good. It's a bit chewy, 
but it's good. So, this so is a tip for that is that you can cut it into smaller pieces, you know, just so you don't have to chew it that much. That is one of the biggest things that I have used is little, this tip to cut the veggies as tiny as you can because you're going to eat way more of it. Because it's really about, you know, sometimes you're just chewing and chewing and chewing and you're just like, oh God, how long is it going to take? But if you make your broccoli, your cauliflower, or anything at all, into really, really tiny pieces, and you can use a machine if you have one to grate it down. And you know, it goes down really quick, and then you're just gonna eat more of it, and you won't feel like you're just chewing forever. Go veg yourself, go veg yourself, stop hurting animals. Go vegan, go veg yourself, go veg yourself, stop hurting animals. Go vegan. Reminder though, don't forget to chew your food lots. It's one of the best things that you can do for your digestion. I know a lot of us just think like digestion starts once we swallow our food, but it's actually not the case. It starts even before that. And you guys might even know that when you see something that is so delicious and you're like so hungry, your mouth starts watering, like you start salivating before you even eat it. So the digestion process starts even before the food gets in your mouth. But chewing is definitely an important part of it. So yeah, chew your food really well. But the nice thing about this tofu egg salad is like, you really don't have to chew much. Just slide it right down there. <laughs> so share this recipe with someone that might like it. Definitely tag me on Instagram if you try it because I know once you guys make this, this is going to become a staple in your life. So you can thank me later. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you again with another video. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, but I know so many of you have. Over 600,000. Thank you for that. Definitely. Go and subscribe to his channel. He is a great vegan animal defender, and the way that he shows it the most is through his food. Simnit, Derek, I'm going to give you an absolute A plus for this. And a big smile because you're so cute. There you go. A plus. Excellent presentation. Thank you so much for being on our vegan team. And for those of you who have not yet subscribed to this channel as well, I encourage you to do so. The more that you subscribe and press like, the more people will learn about veganism so we can help the animals to get them out of hell. So subscribe and press the notification bell. I'll see you all soon. Give yourself a big hug. Come on, hug time. Give yourself a big hug because you are your own best friend. People come and they go in our lives, but we are always the one that's always there, so we gotta be our own best cheerleader, right? So love yourself, treat yourself well, eat healthy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do, woo hoo. Eating eggs is so last century, nobody needs to, so here's what you do. Mash tofu, green onions, and celery in a pan, add black salt, turmeric, and spices, yes you can. Mix in some vegan mayo, mix in some vegan mayo, now mix in a salty pickle, yes the way to go, oh, ooh. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do, woohoo. Learn how to make it, cause saving animals will make them happy and will make you happy too. The egg industry's just a cycle of misery, let's make the animal holocaust history. The egg industry's just a cycle of misery, let's make the animal holocaust history. Tofu scramble, tofu scramble, it's so easy to do, woohoo. Learn how to make it, cause saving animals will make them happy and will make you happy too.